Good afternoon. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio, Sino Land in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Uh, and um, f- f- please, uh, kind of a str- I've got sunlight coming, <laughs> coming in on this side. I would like to thank my daughter, who's been living with us since um, early February and can't go back to Beijing because of uh, coronavirus. Yesterday gave me a um, one of those nice um, professional uh, light rings that um, uh, camera camera people use to uh, light up, uh, you know, to fill to fill up the space. And so I'm trying that today, and it actually came in really in perfect timing yesterday because as I was using it we were looking we were going out and looking at the partial eclipse of the sun yesterday and all of a sudden it started getting darker and darker and darker with the eclipse you know the moon covering up the sun so her light came in um, uh, with perfect timing Uh, I'm unfortunately with my glasses I'm having a problem with it reflecting out of my glasses so now I've got it up high and pointed down and, and yesterday I unfortunately for my China Tech News Flash um, all, I did like 10 China Tech News Flash um, uh, clip, short clips and every one of them I've got you know r- rings in, in my glasses but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna re-record them that was about an hour's worth of work all right, here we go. Before we get started, of course, please uh, go to fundraiser, Patreon, and um, or um, PayPal. Make a donation. I, uh, a young guy, uh, gave me uh, uh, five Singapore dollars. You know, and I was just like, wow, a guy from Singapore cares enough to send me some money. So I really appreciate it, even if it's not a lot of money, even if it's one, two. If you sign up for for Patreon for one dollar a month, I'm happy. It helps me uh, have more time to uh, do these productions uh, for you, so that you can get bigger, better, faster, taller, smarter, all all around more well informed about how the world works and what's really going on in China. Thank you. This one is entitled. Coronavirus and capitalism, they go together like hot, a hot dog in a bun. They're made for each other. And what this is, is um, a, TV, a TV station sent me these three questions, and they never used them. And, and, that, and that happens sometimes, and, I, and, I, and I, I don't begrudge them. I mean, they've got, you know, they're busy, and they've got production schedules and and you know program schedules and and stuff gets in the way so these were th- this is actually from from last month so it's since it's about coronavirus uh, it's it was more of a hot issue back then but i think my answers are well worth um uh, and and the questions are very good and so i th- uh, i wanted to uh, share this uh, with you Question number one, why do we see China sending health support and supplies to corona-hit countries, but the Western countries practice, quote, modern piracy, end of quote. As a Franco-American, I'm ashamed to say uh, that the West has a long history of piracy going back thousands of years. With the advent of 15th century colonialism and the rape and plunder of most of the planet, land, and sea piracy hit new levels of frequency, even between competing European imperialists. In modern times, they now pirate enemies' resources using the Bank of International Settlements, the BIS, swift wire transfer controls, as well as corrupt civil courts and arbitration tribunals to seize and extract nations' resources and business assets. Or, like... <clears throat> with the Iranian ship in Gibraltar in August 2019, try good old-fashioned piracy to steal ships. The United States extorting and bribing suppliers of coronavirus materials and equipment to divert them away from their original buyers is simply current-day piracy in another form. Question number two, how do you find the agenda of the Western mainstream media during uh, the coronavirus pandemic? Here's my answer. I call Western mainstream media the big lie propaganda machine, the BLPM, and those who are brainwashed by it are behind the Great Western Firewall or the GWF. 
since the massive consolidation of wealth in the 19th century into the hands of the 1% as a result of global capitalism, they began buying up most of the major newspapers into the 20th century. Then the same thing, then the same thing happened with magazines, radio, and television. This was somewhat broken up in, from the 1930s to the 1970s thanks to socialist New Deal policies in the U.S. starting in the 1980s with increasing neocon neoliberal de deregulation across Uranglo land, the BLPM is now concentrated into the hands of fewer than 10 transglobal media empires. They naturally pump propaganda that serves their own oligarchy interests at the expense of humanity's 99%, which we can see in the coronavirus headlines saturating planet Earth's media. This is, of course, not at as big a problem in socialist anti-imperialist countries like China, DPRK, Vietnam, Russia, Iran, Venezuela, Cuba, etc. Question number three, what do Westerns stocking up goods and leaving shelves empty signify? The silver lining in the very evil oligarchic coronavirus cloud blanketing the world is that it is totally exposing capitalism for what it is a systemic failure of epidemic proportions, if you'll pardon the pun, that is destroying the lives, livelihood, and social fabric of billions of humanity's citizens, which we, now, which we can now witness in real time, excepting those who live in non-capitalist countries, such as the aforementioned ones, as well as others. This has been the case since the dawn of capitalism, with intermittent, inter, intermittent alleviation of its predicted misery, such as during the U.S.'s highly regulated New Deal and the establishment of socialist economies across of much of Western Europe after World War II. Now with all that destroyed by neocon neoliberalism, the propaganda mask of Im imperial capitalism has been ripped off by coronavirus and we can see it for what it is. The Greeks would call it Hades, the Norse hell, the Hindus Shiva, the, Egypt, the Egyptians Sekhmet, and today's Westerners the Grim Reaper. Capitalism always descends into a downward spiral of death, destruction, and socioeconomic cannibalism. As I said in a recent article, if you live in a communist socialist anti-imperialist country in the times of coronavirus, count your blessings. And that uh, link uh, is included in the article if you go to the YouTube or SoundCloud um, uh, pages or of course to the uh, China Rise Radio Sign Lamp page where this will be posted. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio Sign Land, signing out. Bye-bye.